I will tell you, there's so many great little mom and pop restaurants around Provo and Orem. There's also a lot of small franchise restaurants. So much better than I ever had in Florida, I will tell you. One day I picked up my oldest daughter at the Salt Lake City Airport and she was starving. It was early morning arrival, so we thought, let's go find a breakfast spot. We usually go to Black Bear Diner, but we wanted to try something more local. And so my daughter looked it up on the map and we found this place called the Brunch House. It just so happens that the Brunch House is only five minutes from my home in Indian Hills in Provo. Talk about convenient. There is ample parking in the back of the restaurant, so don't get discouraged when you drive up and there's no parking right there in front. It sits at an angle and it's right next to the Provo Health Center. So right behind there, there's a bunch more parking. It's a small yet totally new nuanced place. I absolutely love the decor. The atmosphere is cozy. It's fun loving. The staff is so kind and helpful. When you first walk in, you're greeted with the smell of fresh baked goods and breakfast. I love to eat breakfast. I like breakfast for breakfast, lunch, and dinner and anything in between. Turn to your left in the restaurant and you will see the bakery cases. You can't get your eyes off of those. Those goodies are so yummy and they have croissants and they have really yummy guava Cuban pastries, which we very rarely see here. And that is one thing we had everywhere in Florida. There's so many goodies to choose from, but don't save those for after breakfast so that you can have room in your tummy for breakfast. There's so many great, awesome choices on their menu. I ordered the veggie omelet, which was filled with mushrooms, spinach, onions, peppers, and a little cheese. I had their breakfast potatoes and whole wheat toast, and it was really delicious. My daughter ordered the Monte Cristo breakfast. That's not on their online menu, but it is on the menu when you go into the brunch house. It was absolutely delicious. They also have a Cuban sandwich. I haven't tried that yet, but it's on my list to try because we love to compare it to the ones we've had in Florida. There are a lot of Latin choices like huevos rancheros and other items that are super yummy. In the beginning, Angelica and her partner, Julio, they were originally from Southern California. They wanted to make a fresh start and raise their children in a safe and growing state. So they made their move to here to Utah in 2015. Once here, they opened up a Sado Argentine grill. However, they realized something was missing and that was breakfast options. They soon opened up the brunch house in Provo and it didn't take long for word to spread about the amazing dishes that come out of their kitchen. It's a great place for friends and families alike with their cozy atmosphere, friendly staff, and delicious food. They serve up delicious breakfasts like omelets, French toast, pancakes, waffles, and more. Now people come from all over and it can get very busy, so I say don't go super early. I would go, but then again, you don't get all the bakery items because once they run out, there are no more. So it's hard to know when to go exactly. So I would try different times to find your favorite time to go. The Brunch House is located at 1145 North 500 West in Provo. And you can check my website out at movetoprovoutah.com for more details and a complete menu, as well as really cool photos that you can see there. And for this restaurant, we're giving them five stars for sure. It is on my short list of best breakfast places to eat in Provo, Utah, but not just in Provo, the entire Utah County. I love the food, love the atmosphere, and love the bakery. So don't wait, treat yourself and your loved ones to a delightful brunch experience at the Brunch House. Trust me, you won't be disappointed.